my name is Sydney Snow and you're joining me for another episode of Seaside Paranormal Investigators. Today we are here at the Great Barn where there has been some investigation behind some murders here and there's been some spirits and some paranormal activity so we're here to investigate. So I'm joined by Lou, our resident medium. He is an expert at contacting those that have passed. Good evening, everybody. So Lou, are you getting anything here yet? One moment. Oh, yes. Yes, there are definitely spirits here. Yes. I'm being, I'm being, I feel I'm being drawn towards this end of this great barn. Shall we? Let's go. Should we yeah, explore? yeah. Should we explore? You take the lead. Lou has taken us to this really small room. We're not quite sure what this room is used for, but we're about to find out. Lou. There's a very strong presence here. We're definitely at the, the center of the psychic influences, just here. Your bees are going crazy. Oh, I mean, crazy. You're getting this on the camera. The people are at home. Okay, so what, tell me what, what this means. What, is, what are they doing? I'm feeling the presence. Oh, it's an elderly person. An old gentleman. He had a good life. What, do you know his name yet? He's a little nervous, a little nervous of telling me too much. Is it because of the, the camera crew in us, or...? No, I think, I think he's a country folk, you know. He's, a, he's been here so long, he's, yeah. he's not used to new, to strangers. Well, strangers, he's, you, he's a jolly chap. Does he know that we're not a threat? Is he okay with us I here? I think so, I think so. Okay. He's not aggressive, no. That's good. Oh, it's been a long time, very long time. Has he been alone? He likes to be alone. He enjoys loneliness. Hello again, and I'm joined here with Charlie and Harry in their great barn. What a fantastic location this is, but even better, there are some spooky happenings here. So guys, give us some information about this barn. Well, like we've said before, it's the one of the oldest barns in England. I mean, it's over 100 years old and we've owned it for sort of maybe 15 years mm -hmm. now. And recently we've just been experiencing some strange happenings, which we just can't explain. No way. What well, light? I, I might be able to uh, draw some light on that. I've definitely felt some strong presence here. What did you feel? Mm, that's a a pale lady. Does this sound familiar to you guys? Um, I think there was a pale lady. Yeah, I think there's a legend about a pale lady in the past. Really? What, what, what do you know? Um, <clears throat> I think uh, she became she... pregnant without uh, wanting to. Uh, couldn't get married. Um, death. In... Oh, death. Did she die here? We believe That's she what the legend have done. Is, yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, are you getting anything else? Any oh, more information? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, pain, suffering, suffering. Is this like anywhere in particular in the barn? Can you pick anything like that up at the moment? Oh, it's just a, feeling such overwhelming pain. It's very difficult to focalise down to the exact moment. Okay. There. But do you want to. There's a great deal of sorrow here. Sorrow. Pleading. Okay, so I'm going to ask permission from you guys. Lou needs a bit of time to, to work the spirits, okay? So I'm going to just ask you a few more questions, which might help. Is that okay? Sure. Um, Lou, do your thing. Don't hold back, okay? Okay, I'll, I shall uh, attempt to connect All right. with the other world. Good luck. Hey, old lady. Okay, so you guys know a bit about what, what he's talking about, right? So. So you said about uh, this unwanted baby. Do you know anything else? Is there anything more we, you could say? Well, there's the activity in the in the changing rooms. Yeah, 
Yeah. The ch these changing rooms here? Yeah, at the back, yeah. Okay. Uh, what what an activity? Things just being moved. Like, yeah. we'd put something down and then we'd go back later to find it. And it it's just gone. Sounds like a poltergeist. Well, oh. possible. I, oh. I don't know. I mean, it, with a production, you get people that just mess about with props. Right. Sure. If there's swords and knives and stuff, people like to play with them. If there's a gun, they like to play with them. Don't put them back in the right place. It uh, makes it awkward for for the continuity of production. There was the time the candlesticks moved, if you remember that. Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was. When there wasn't, time, yeah. there was nobody here. We'd finished production, and the, with the candlesticks had been left out. The next day, we came up just to tidy up, and the candlesticks had been knocked over. Yes, I'm getting something through now. It's coming through. So it's go, oh. going back to this baby. So, so was she murdered? I'm assuming. Murder. Okay, so she's murder. murdered. There's got to be some record of this, right? No physical record. There's just the hearsay. I mean, the legend said that she was pregnant, but it was another person, somebody that was already married's baby. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay, so. Yes, was this person all looked pain. into, perhaps? I think we tried, but I don't think we found anything. No, we didn't find anything. Silence. Silence. Okay, I'll be honest with you, it sounds like there was something Murder. really graphically bad oh, that happened here. There's got to be some record. Pain. Do you know about oh, anything about oh. the person that lived here before, perhaps? Or have you, have you used this space for other things? Nothing that springs to mind. I mean, what about, what about you? You look like you've got something to say. I'll call up the spirit. Okay, Lou. She, she Go can for explain it. to herself. We, we can hear it through our own words. No, don't do that. Don't do that. What does she want to say? She just wants to look. Tell us who. <coughs> tell me who did this to you. Speak to us now. Speak now. Speak. We killed her. Murder. Murder. Oh, bird murder. We didn't mean to. It was an accident, right? It was an accident. Okay. Hello and welcome to another fantastic episode of SPI, Seaside Paranormal Investigators. Today we are going to be in the location of Portsmouth, South Sea, where we will be investigating the venue Wedgwood Rooms. So this venue has hosted many worldwide famous celebrities such as Nirvana. So are we going to make contact with Kurt Cobain? Who knows? But what I do know is that there has been sightings of this monk here. So we are here today to investigate and find out more. Come check it out. Here we go again. So I'm joined by the crew and Lou to give us a tour, who is our medium for the day. Thank you. Are you ready, Lou? Oh yes, I can already feel a great deal of presences here already. Really? Mm. What, what, tell me. There's a lot of power here. There was a small child's energy earlier, quite clearly, oh. quite clearly, yes. I mean, is it is it an angry child or, you know, do we need to worry? No. No, I think it's okay. It's quite happy, really. Yeah. Happy, happy child, yes. Does he say anything to you? I'm not sure if it's a boy. It could be oh. a girl. Ooh. Let's try, shall we? We'll, we'll try and make some contact. Okay. One moment. All right. I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. Talk to me. Come, child. Yes. Oh, I mean, they've gone already. They've gone oh. already. Scampered off, little oh. thing. Scampered off. But but enjoying life. Okay, good. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, we're actually going to go check out some of the other rooms. So 
Are you ready? Excellent. Looking forward to it. Let's Italian go. Medium powers on. Let's go. The history of the Wedgwood Rooms goes way back to the 1500s, 1512 to be exact. It was run by a tyrannical monk named Tobias who took a more violent response to worship until he mysteriously disappeared in 1533. Okay, so we've moved around a little bit and you've just noticed something. So if you want to just tell, tell everyone what you think. There's a very things. strong energy here. Okay, now is this stronger than the one before? Oh or? yes. Yeah, yes, it's yes. stronger than the this one before. This is definitely a male, a male presence. Like a male. Powerful, yeah? strong male presence. Aggressive even. Oh, aggressive male. Very. Do you know his age? 30s. So he's quite strong young. Strong built. I feel like violence, an act of violence has occurred. What, here? In this room? Potentially, yes. To him, what? certainly. Okay. Did he die here? Yes. Yes, he did. We have... He did die here. A ghost here yes. that died here. Gently, my friend. Gently. Yes, he was stabbed. Stabbed in this very place. I can feel the energy. What does he want? To be free. He wants to be free. He wants to be free. And how can we help him? Does he know? Does he even know he's dead? Oh, I don't think he does, no. He's a trapped spirit, people. We could try communicating with him later, perhaps, okay. but this is a, that's a major job, you know. I mean, it really it's, does involve a lot. This is amazing, of... though. We thought we'd find just one ghost, but already we've already found two. In, in maybe even three. Yes, I think, I think we should move on. It's, it's, it's... I agree. Let's see what more we can find. So far, so good. Mm. We've got move a lot on. of work to do here. Let's go. What was left of the church was taken down in 1888, replaced by countless businesses that found themselves plagued with misfortune, disasters, and in some cases, death. Local stories of Tobias Ghost's curse spread like wildfire. Here we've got another very small room, and uh... Oh, oh wait, wait. Oh, okay. It does look like we've got something. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I... You look like you're having visions. Are you seeing something? The monk. He's seeing the monk. Oh, yes. It's very quiet. Is he in here? Yes, oh yes. Okay. Yes, just, just, just there. Just there. How can, how can we make contact with him? I don't think Does he, he know wants, we're here? I don't think he wants to make contact. I, he knows we're here. Okay. Oh, he knows we're here. Okay. And he's angered by us. Oh, no. Yes. What can we do to show that we're not a threat? Uh, it's just, 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 it's, it's all right. We don't wish you any harm. No harm whatsoever, Mr. Monk. What is his name? He's gone. Or well, maybe that was enough. And he's gone. Maybe like he's, he was satisfied with that. Who knows? Intriguing. Very. Very. What now? We should look further. I agree. <laughs> well, what a successful look. We've already made contact with him. We need to find out his name. That's the next thing. Okie doke. We can okay. work on that. We can work on that. You have a job to do. I look forward to it. This is amazing. Okay. Can we... Maybe we should try through, through here. Yeah. There was definitely a movement in this direction. So maybe he's just moved to a different route. Potential. Potential. Okay. Let's go. Let's have a look, Let's go. Well, this is turning out to be quite the exciting adventure. So Lou has just got back to me. Now he has identified not one, but six paranormal activity hotspots within the venue, which is really great news because we've got plenty of team members who are happy to be split up. So we're gonna have people in different locations within the venue. Right, but not only that, we have got the best ghost detective kit and we've also got eyes in the sky, security cameras. We don't always have this, so this is quite a treat. We cannot miss a thing. After World War II, the building found itself to be one of the casualties, uh, kept abandoned, feared by the locals, until 1992 when the Wedwood Rooms opened. Cut! 
Good job, guys. Was that all right? Yeah. Really, really good. good. Really well done, honestly. Uh, so so did last year in a public house. Oh, my God. So good. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, is that all right? Yeah. Just because I know that there's been a few situations. Yeah. Yeah. Jess, am I going to find something? Okay. Yeah, no, I'm really happy. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. So. Next. Next. Yeah. So this is the equipment. Now we have a digital mm -hmm. voice recorder, picks up EVPs, electronic voice phenomenon. Okay. So that what you do is you ask questions and that can pick up what our human ear can't pick up. So if you ask a question, the spirit can respond. Yeah, exactly. You can hear the voice on there basically. Is that kind of like the dog whistle stuff and like, you know, where dogs can hear it and we can't? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is the SB7 spirit box, uh -huh. which it's basically like a radio and it goes through the channel which you can either go really fast forward or reverse yeah. and you can also speak to spirits through there or well, they can speak to us through it okay. as well cool. i remember that from um the episode yeah the, um, yeah the one with yeah the train conductor <laughs> <laughs> that must have been like terrifying oh my god yeah that was pretty uh, hectic yeah that was the, yeah even though you seasoned investigator it still Chills down yeah. our spines, you know. I had chills watching it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay, now we have the K2 meter. Uh -huh. This picks up EMFs, which are ele electromagnetic field. And uh, you can also ask the spirit question again, mm -hmm. and then they can come closer to light up the, the lights. Okay. This one is a male meter. It's pretty much the same thing, but yeah. it also registers temperature as well. So if you get a cold spot, then you, you may have a manifestation. And again, if you get a hot spot, then that could be a bit more of a nasty manifestation. Okay. okay. So the colder it is, the, the better it's Possibly safe. the better, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And these are IR lights. These are infrared. Mm -hmm. So they work with the cameras. So we can see in the dark, basically. Um, this is a full spectrum camera. So that will work with that. And that covers all light fields. Yeah. The full spectrum of light. Even ultraviolet? Yes. Yeah. And that's where this comes in with the ultraviolet light as well. How often does that pick stuff up, that one? That one's pretty much every time we use it. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, um, also we can use a normal camera yeah. with flash and you can catch like orbs, etc. Yeah. or shadows. And now we come to the baby, the uh -huh. SLS. Okay, this will pick up anything yeah, that we mm. cannot see. And it will register it as a skeleton, basically. Mm -hmm. And we've seen some crazy stuff with this one, with the, the way the, the spirits react and yeah. uh, like spidery. And you know, you know, that's a bit of a, a nasty one to be dealing with, you know, yeah. when they're like that type of thing and they crawl along and, and things and land on your shoulder and start yeah. touching with, you know, and playing with your hair. You okay? Yeah. Surviving. Oh my god. <laughs> we should uh, probably get some... Get some stuff in. Stuff? Mm -hmm. Yes, we probably should. That worked last time. Oh, you mean like um, last time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It worked quite well, didn't it? <laughs> what, what happened last time? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, just, Industry stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There are a few um, things that happened, and we're just going to try and recreate those moments, I think. <laughs> Memories. Yeah. We got a huge number of viewers for that show, didn't we? We did. So I think it's definitely worth investing. Yeah. Well, it was for finale, like, that was absolutely amazing. Thank you. How you got him to confess and everything. It was just yes. super best episode. Mm. Like, thank you so much for having us here. You must have had hundreds of applications. We did, you're yeah. right. <laughs> well, you're very welcome. You know, we are always on the lookout for talented young people. Thank you. Thanks. So, um,. <clears throat> So if you tell me, tell me what else you like about the show. Anything else? Obviously, obviously, you guys absolutely amazing. Um, that one where you had that possession. What was her name? Was oh yes, Clara. 
<laughs> oh, I remember yeah. Clara. I think we all remember Clara. Uh, yes. <laughs> Very uh, mischievous spirit. Yes. Yeah. Phil, get them all happy, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I think. In fact, I think maybe Clara should make her comeback. What do you think? Ooh. Yes. In fact, we could probably do a whole episode just on, on we Clara. We could, we could. I That's thought you exercised her. Yeah, didn't so? she? Didn't mm. you... Uh, Send her off into. Well, she can come back again, can't she? She's ghosts. When required. Kind of like. She's ghost. So. so you're able to do that? You can just kind of summon them, summon them back? Oh, obviously. It's television. That's how it works. People, you know, if they like the character, then. then we'll give them the character. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Have you got any other ideas for this season? Because we're thinking, obviously, America, remember, so I'm... I'm animals. Can we get some going. animals in? Animals? Horses, dogs. What an amazing idea. I like how it. We, how, no one's ever done animals before. I thought the same thing. Oh. When was the last time we had a horse spirit? Or a dog spirit? Something like that. I think it's fucking genius. It's easy to do, isn't it? They don't say anything. They always say that dogs are really good at picking up spirits, so when you have them, they'll like stare at them in the spot. I want a bloody oh, dog hanging so around. Ugh. I hate dogs. They're well, dogs. To be fair, she has a point though, because dogs do bark at random things. And all we need is a scatty old dog. Scatty old dog, you know? They're more in touch. Yeah. I mean, and in all fairness, people love animals. YouTube, especially, you know, the amount of people. Even myself, really, I find myself just watching funny animals all day. Get a cat. But we lose a cat and they piss everywhere. But the dogs. They chase spirits away, don't they? That's actually a fair point, we don't want that. Don't. Just give me the cat, that's all. Okay, so it was your idea. What animal? Horse. Got a thing for the horse. Something big, <laughs> horse. I've just reminded myself of something. Horse. Horse? Horse. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that kind of horse. Oh, well, that was a funny day. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, um, oh, it's sweetheart, no. I'm not even going to go there. Too delicate for your ears. Yes. <laughs> Anyone's ears. Right. Have you heard about... <laughs> Nearly. So there's this other show in America that I'm thinking, we have some time when, when, we're, when we're done here, we should definitely sit down and watch it because presenter on this, she's not even remotely attractive, but there's something that people like about her. Well, we have a look. I it's don't definitely a look. look. So America, um, they're kind of throwing me off a little bit, so I need to work out what they want. They're desperate for us. They, they're absolutely, there's all kinds of people asking questions, aren't they? <gasps> I can't rely on that. Is it Jenny? The presenter Jenny? It is, yeah. She's really funny. <laughs> She's funny. Yeah. Maybe we need to go in with that angle. Funny. Humour, of course. Well, you can be funny, can't you? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be my style. You're funny, though. I can't be funny. I've got to be serious. You can't be funny when you're bringing up the dead spirits, can you? No one's going to be happy about that. Jenny does. I don't really care what Jenny, Jenny does. does. Right? We need to do it our way. We're, we're, we're popular. We're popular in the UK. It's easy to break the But we need to be you. better. Always? Always. Fine. Okay. Get funny. Let's find another in. Maybe we should consider animals. I think this might actually work. I think there's a variety of animals you could do. We could do water based animals as well. We could have a day at the seaside. Hello and welcome back from the break. As you can see, we are raring to get going with our investigation. So we're gonna be splitting up because we've got so many zones to cover. So we've got Fred and Elliot, gonna be going upstairs and checking out the kitchen. We're gonna be in the bathroom and our lovely assistants here are gonna be taking on the green room with our sound kit. They're gonna be listening out for what they might be able to pick up with that. It's gonna be really interesting. Yep. 
Um, maybe, maybe Ruth could, could use that one. Scares there. Yeah, like we did before, eh? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm thinking we've definitely got to use some of that well, yeah. fish wire, get a couple of. Oh, yeah, look at that. That would be. Uh, oh, that's nice and rattly, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We could uh, definitely set up the camera. I wonder if we can set up the garden to, uh, you know, spark up flames. Up, yeah, yeah. yeah or, uh, oh, deep fries. Oh, deep fries yes. To, to move and. Yeah, we can use oh, some fishing wire. Oh, def oh, fishing wire on the glasses. Yeah, oh, what about yeah. that one there with this? Oh, scum on it. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Yes, that's the one. That's gonna, that's coming off. <laughs> We can have the camera there and just hear them land, couldn't you? That'd be good. Oh, what about the trolley movie? Oh, 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 I didn't even see oh, it. Oh, yes, a bit what about the trolley movie? Oh, another bit oh. of uh, fishing wire up there around the corner, maybe. Yeah, and then we can, yeah, it could be cool, couldn't it, from any direction? Yes. Camera there on it. And, yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> Yes, it's through here. Oh, yes. You're getting something. Very You're much so. Something. Very much so. Okay. Tell me what you're thinking. Oh, there's plenty of spirits around here. It's going crazy. Can you see this? Now, this part of the building didn't used to be a toilet. I believe it was once the crypt. A crypt? A crypt? How can we forget that? Cut really straight over. Well, if we work it cleverly enough, we might be able to get it as that falls to come down and take that with us. So yeah. Glass and metal smash. <laughs> oh. Taps on and off. So it might be a bit tricky, but as we uh, position, uh, if we position the wire yeah. well enough, we can. Yeah, because I could actually. If we get all three, so it goes, the wire goes through the taps, up yep. through the cutlery and up through up to the glass, all one action, maybe cutting it across the floor, it's the trolley, oh, make it a triple whammy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No wonder why it's going off the head. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh and you're getting readings yes. as well, you're seeing this, we're getting readings yeah, all I'm over the place. I'm getting very strong readings here. I can hardly control this. So what now? What, what should we do? Oh, I still feel that the monk is it? the most powerful. Mm, he's been Make sure you strong. He's. No, no, it's gone. So we could have a fire extinguisher falling off the wall as well, can we? We can loosen those. And... Well, as long as it doesn't, you know, last like last time, that was. Oh, uh, crikey, yeah. <laughs> that was a mess and a half. But we did get the result we wanted. Yeah. They were definitely white as a sheep then. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Heck of a mess though. <laughs> 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 
Why do I then have to clear it up? <laughs> no. Oh, they're gonna love this. Oh, like it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <No>. Ruth. <laughs> Kelly! What's <laughs> up? Wait a second. <laughs> Two. Oh no. Is there nothing you can do? Well, we'll we'll, we'll try again. We'll try again. Um, there's always a second chance with these things. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. We must be able to must be able to get it again though, because you said it was, this is a crypt. What if there's other spirits? Well, we'll, we'll try again, but you know, it's not up to me, is it? This is just how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. You can't control spirits. Okay, so we need to really think about what we're doing here because so far not so good. Agreed? Anyone got anything good? Anything of use yet? Because I certainly haven't. Well, we had a few voices come up on ours, mm -hmm. didn't we? We had some chatter coming in. Oh, chatter, that's, that's cute. Um, not, really, not really enough to build a show around, unfortunately, but good try. Um, any ideas from the drawing board? Because we're making a show here, guys. I mean, there's plenty of stuff in the kitchen. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I suppose we've yeah. got lots to play with. Oh, yeah, we? loads. We've got the, the cookers, we've got a trolley. Yeah. We've got tables that are just falling apart. What do you think we can do with that, though? Can we... No, we'll link it all together. It can be one massive jump scare. Oh, yeah. Cool. Nice. Good ideas, guys. What about uh, you? I've got the kitchen, the wire, the uh, yeah. kitchen line. That'll, that'll, Fantastic. That'll be, that'll be useful. That worked last season, so Very perfect. Well. Very perfect. Well. Hold on. Cool. So... We're going to be planting stuff to... This is television. <laughs> yeah, what, what exactly you are? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> you're making TV, we're entertaining people. So we're going to fake the, the ghosts. We're going to fake what's happening. Do you always think it's real? Like you see on TV? Yeah. I think we're going to burst yeah. your bubble here, lovely. We have bills to pay. We also have ratings to hit. We have competition. We're trying to break into America. What more reasons do you need? So we're going to lie to people. That is what show business is, unfortunately. I don't really know how else, how else to explain it to you. We're creating an illusion. But we're investigators. We're meant to be finding we the truth. We are investigators. You are an intern. Okay? So, on that note, I think it's really best if you take your shit. Take your shit. You as well. Go into the green room and do what you're here to do. Because clearly you're not insane. bringing anything to the table, are you? So... Every time. I swear it's every time. In terms. No more. Never again. We don't have time for it. It's like children. Tell them Santa's not real anymore. We should probably pay someone properly then, shouldn't we? make the money first. It's all fake. It's all fucking fake, Ruth. It's all fucking fake. Did you see the way that they spoke to us? The, the, the way they spoke to me? I, I don't think they meant it like that. I'm just guessing there was nothing to She up. tried to humiliate me. She tried to humiliate me. They're charlatans. They just lie to people once a week. What the fuck have we gotten ourselves into? What the fuck have we gotten ourselves into? We picked up the stuff on that mic, so there must be something here. I guess it's just not big enough for what they What's want. What's some crackling and squeaking? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Kelly. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get us into this. Can you even believe that just happened? <sighs> Where do we find them? It's just... Uh, every fucking time. I swear to God. If it's not the fact that they're bloody naive and fucking idiots, You've got the token girl that is here just to ruin my life. Well, you wanted more diversity, so... Yeah, Did not, we? Not for this reason. It's just annoying. It is really annoying. Like, all I want is people to give a shit about the show. Not about that. Like, not just about the pathetic reason. It's like, 
Which side do you want to be on? Do you want to be the spectator, the one that buys into all the bullshit, or do you want to be part of the magic? Because it's hard fucking work. It's fucking hard work making this stuff up. You know? That might be your way in there, you know? We could, uh, we could give her a little scare, couldn't we? So, what do we do now? We, we can't lie to people. We can't, we can't be involved in this. It's a good opportunity. They got so many ratings last time and like Sydney did all that stuff after they had that final episode. So maybe that could work for us if we just kind of pretend. Oh, what about our dreams, Ruth? We're meant to be journalists. We're meant to tell the truth. Guess it's kind of acting, like, I'm back in uni, it's just, it's just acting, it's just that group, maybe, I don't know Kelly, <sighs> just think it's a good opportunity and, you know what, if we just play along and get it over and done with, at least we can put it on our CVs and not have to see those people again. Oh yeah. Like we did with that, um, Asian kid that time. Oh. He absolutely wet himself, that didn't he? bloody magic that was as well. Because they so buy into it. Okay. This could be useful. I wonder if we scare her enough, she might turn white. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good point. Oh, that's even too far for me. Let's get some sense into her. Yeah. I don't think there's much chance of that. It's not my job to do that. I'm not paid enough. <laughs> anyway, let's just... Okay. We can definitely use this though. At the end of the day, if she's that naive, she'll she'll be scared at everything, I reckon. Yeah, I just so, realised. Walkie talkies, two channels. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. They can be on one, we can go on the other. Okay, That's cool. a good way around it. Yeah. So yeah, that They won't know what we're planning. Um, so yeah, so maybe this would be good for the ratings actually. Because they'll see how scared we are. Therefore, be a bit more believable. Let's I think it's a good idea. Power, right? yeah. I think this is yeah. a fucking good idea, Let's guys. Go away, shall we? Yes. Excellent. Get in, get out. I guess. Um, I guess that's the way things are done in the real world. Sorry. I'm sorry. I know you must be disappointed as well. Nah, that's stupid. I shouldn't be thinking stuff like this exists. I did really think he was a medium, though. <laughs> Mate, he was trying to, he was trying to get a horse to do What are the horses going to say to him? And the dolphins? <laughs> and the grass? Oh. So, you think we could do, huh? What about behind the door? Can you fit behind the door? Yes, I can. What's that? Can you see me? So I can't see you in the crack of your stand where you are, perfect. What about dry up, huh? So it dry? Oh, yeah, that'll work. What about the stools? Like, can you stand on the stools, see if you can be hidden? Nice big slap that is. Mm. Can we do with a toilet seat? There's nothing automatic in there, is there? We can't no, really set something off. Ah! Definitely heard something. It's kind of like a a, a woman's voice and what am I doing? 
Hi, um, I'm Kelly Adeyobe. I'm, uh, I'm with uh, Seaside Paranormal Investigators and I don't know if you can tell but uh, this is my first ghost hunt and um, I'm a bit nervous, I'm struggling to, um, to keep myself together. Um, we've got a bit of activity here in the hallway. Um, I'd like to turn the lights on, um, but as you can see, they're, they're not working. Um, they were working just a moment ago, so um, I don't know what that's about, so... Um, oh, I just heard something. It's... It's a woman's voice and... Oh, there it is again! Moving through the hall, I'm, uh, I'm getting a bit of a weird, a weird frequency. Um, what is that? Right, um, my equipment has just died. Um, so uh, we're just going to have to rely on um, the infrared from the camera. Um, moving. Moving down the hallway now. Um, um, it's, it's a weird. What was that? Oh, um, there's a weird atmosphere in the hall. It's um, it's warm. It's it's very very warm, and um, it's it's a, it's a cool day outside. So um, this is, you know, there's no heating on. There's nothing up here. Um, um, and. Uh, it's warm, but I'm getting goosebumps. Um, right. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Are there any people in here? I heard that you died a horrible, horrible death. And oh, did the door just move? Are there any people in here? I heard you died a horrible, horrible death. It's very strong in here. Yes, it's the monk. I'm sure it's the monk. It's very powerful. What is the monk doing? It's. I can feel him moving t towards. Oh! 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 Oh, yeah! Uh, yeah. Speak to me! Ah. Oh. Ah. <gasps> is that are you the monk? Are you the monk that are ro is roaming in this premises? Oh. Yes. What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. The door the fucking the fucking fire escape. The door is just open. It's, it was a fucking locked door. It was a fucking, it was a locked door. You can see that over there. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shit. The door's just banging. It's it's banging. It's banging back and forth. I'm not controlling it. There's no wind. There's absolutely no wind outside. It's dry as a fucking bone. Hello, monk. Greetings. What can I call you? Tobias. Hello, Tobias. Yes. My name is Sydney. Hello. <gasps> is 
everything okay, Tobias? No. <gasps> what can we do? Leave me. We mean you no harm, Tobias. I just want you to understand oh, that. Oh, the pain. No. Oh, Where pain are you hurting? Inside. Oh. Right, I'm not comfortable here. I don't think it's a good spirit. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a benign spirit. We're gonna. We're gonna move. We're gonna move on from here. I don't feel safe. <gasps> oh, the pain. You need to understand. Oh. You have passed. I have passed. Oh. Do you understand that you are deceased, Tobias? Whoa, is me. Oh, right, scrap that. What? Better idea. What? Go. Oh, oh go. okay. Right, I don't feel safe. Right. Over. What are we gonna do? My career's been ruined. The fucking show. Oh god. The fucking show? Yes, exactly. Go on, think. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I never touched her. She just like fell over when I'd scared her. Stupid bloody woman! I know. Ah, fuck! Okay, I have an idea. Simple. Really fucking simple. What? Just need to get a few. Just your hands, okay? Okay, you just anything. Just anything. Get on with it. Yep. Guys? Can you come in here, please? I need your help. There you are. Come on, Bruce. So, guess what we're going to be doing? Well, I think I've got a sauce on our hands. It's going to be amazing. I mean, awesome. So, we need yeah. you in there like as soon as possible. We're going to set you up uh -huh. in the top corner, I'm thinking, because we're going to give you a little bit more uh, camp time, which will be great. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, are you, ready? are you ready? Yeah, um, just let me grab candy then, and yeah, we'll get yeah. you. Oh, oh, you want to go get her? Right. Well, you can't because she has gone, unfortunately. Yeah, we've had to let her go. I. Are you sure? Because she didn't say anything to me and she Absolutely. got a message. Crystal clear. Yeah, she's gone. Well, what was the reason? Is she okay? Oh, uh, I think she she was very sick. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest, uh, there's so many other things that I need to be thinking about right now. I can't give her a call. I keep, is it right if I just give her a call or something? Yeah. Because if she's not well, then that's I'd love not really for you the best to. thing. I really think that would be lovely. And yeah. you know, I get that she's your friend, but we don't have time. So um, actually what I need you to be doing with your time right now, seeing as you are here under employment, is your job. So how about you do that? Yeah. Great, fantastic. Welcome back viewers. Now we are here at the Wedgwood Rooms and in fact we did make contact earlier on in the show, but you might remember that we did in fact lose contact. So unfortunately we have had to resort to the last resort, which is a seance. Now we do have professionals here, so we do want our viewers to understand that this is not something you should try alone at home. Over to you. Thank you very much, Sydney. Now, first I'd like us to do a protection. So if we could just uh, join hands, take my hands off my hands, and just help each other. Because this is really quite dangerous and stuff. So now, we call 
on the spirits of protection. Come forth, come forth and protect us here today. We are innocents. I shall cast upon this place protection against all the evil spirits. Henceforth, leave us. And now we shall be safe. So, I shall attempt to speak to Tobias the monk. Tobias. Tobias, come forth. Speak to us now. Wait. Voice? No. No, no, not, not you. Back. Away. Go and play. Away. There, there. Calm. Tobias. I know you're there. I can feel your presence. Come forth to us now. Yes. Yes. Closer. Near Tobias. He's amongst us. Oh, I, I, I feel your sanctuary has been broken. His oh, distress is great. No, no, Tobias, no. Tobias, return to me. Tobias. Yes. Yes. He is concerned that dancing and the merrymaking has been done upon the consecrated ground. Oh, this hurts him. Religious feelings deeply. Yes, the world has moved on, Tobias. Oh, it's. Oh, he doesn't like any of that. Debauchery. Oh. I can feel it. Oh. Oh. It's it. It's, he's moving into me. Luke. Oh. Luke. Oh. Luke. Oh. Somebody help him. Quick. Oh. 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 Find out if you did anything then, shall we? Because there's one way to find out. Right. I'm not really yeah. interested in your excuses to be honest with you. Like, this show's, you know, who's running the show? Because I'm not up for pranksters, you know? We haven't done anything. No, it wasn't us. Don't, it's not us. Put, don't put the blame on us. It's not. Blame. What, who, who the fuck did that then? Well, don't look at us. We were nowhere near it. Okay. No, you may not have been nowhere near it. Doesn't mean you didn't do it though, right? Doesn't mean you didn't do it. Doesn't mean you didn't do it. Doesn't mean you didn't do it. We didn't set anything up in the bar. 
we were doing the kitchen. How could it be us if we didn't do it? You guys drove me fucking nuts. Well, okay. If they're saying they didn't do it, then maybe it's real and isn't that exactly what we want? We can use the footage. Oh, don't need you and your little naive nature here right now. <laughs> no, it's so realistic and that looks so real. You're right, it does look real. <sighs> For a moment, you know what you just you just reminded me? We have a fucking show to be doing, guys. So let's go downstairs and finish the fucking show, can we? Please? Because I'm quite done already. Well, come on, let's go do it then. Come on, we're on you now. Welcome back, viewers. We are here, still in the Wedgwood rooms, and we have made contact earlier on in this show. Unfortunately, we did also lose contact, so therefore we are now resorting to a seance. But don't worry, we are professionals, and we do have to warn you, please do not try this at home. We need to give this a protection. We're calling upon the spirits of protection. Bless us here now. Guard us against the evil. Please. Right, now. Tobias. Tobias. Come forth to me now, Tobias. Speak to me. We need a break. Now, come on. Go. I will be back in, in five. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
about that, guys. Uh, wow. Did everyone see that? That was kind of nuts, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> you probably heard that I have let Lou go. Mm. Yeah. I know it's not the best idea, seeing as we're in the middle of production. It's not something I wanted to do. And you know, it's not great for the team because the dynamics completely changed now. So I'm sorry for that. But can you trust that I did it for the team? Okay. I know. Mm. And Lou's actually like a friend of mine. Like I got Lou the job, okay? So this hurts me more than you think. So um, <clears throat> between you and me, Lou's been drinking on the job. So that performance you just saw, we can't have that. Like that's like unpredictable fucking bullshit. Like. He's a danger to us if he sticks around and I'm not having that. I'm not putting the team in danger like that. So I think, I think I've made the right choice, but you know, I understand if, if you feel differently, but we do have a show to do and, and the show is going so well, you know, like everyone is doing the best job ever. And I just think if we can just, you know, pull together, for like one more chunk of the show, we've got some gold on our hands. Like, like really, everyone is doing fucking awesome. You should all be like crazy proud of yourselves because I know I am, right? And screw Lou, like fuck Lou. If he can't, like, just do his, let do his bit, you know? Like, we're not here to carry him after all, you know? That's not my job. That's not your job, it's not your job. And it is not yours either. So why do we want a dead weight run? It's just, mm -hmm. it seems simple to me. We're looking for quality, right? Yeah? Yes. We agree? Let's do this. Awesome. <laughs> so I think we get you back in the green room. Uh -huh. um, and we just, if we have a chat, we can work out what, what's next for us. But I think if we all just put our heads together. We've got something bloody fantastic. we got some like great shit going on here. So. We can make a, great, a really good show, so even, even without Lou. We don't need Lou, not at all. Okay, everyone ready? Yep. Yep. Awesome, let's do it. Let's go catch some ghosts. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to make contact? If you are male, Make one sound on here, just something. Oh, this is very fucking here. Yeah, I can't believe what, you know, what you said about Lou. I can't believe that Lou would just do that. No, I agree. Like, it's, it's not like him at all to drink on, so. Yeah. Like, he's a proper professional about that. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen him drink. Never, yes. never on the show. Same here. If you are female, make a sound. Are you a happy ghost? You're not a happy ghost? Not at all? Fine. Are you a angry ghost? Do you want to hurt us? Lou? 
Are there any other creatures here with us? I'm giving you the opportunity to speak to us and do something, please. Why did you 